burlesque is making a comeback across the United States. Stars like Dieter Von Tees, movies like Burlesque with Christina Aguilera and Cher, or Moulin Rouge with Nicole Kidman, have encouraged a lot of women to choose burlesque performances as a profession. And these ladies see the job as an art form. When you can bring in artistry and costuming and dance and music, it becomes much more than just a striptease. It's this huge collaborative art, and I think that's what the big popularity is. In recent decades, there's been a revival of burlesque, sometimes called neo-burlesque. A new generation nostalgic for the spectacle and perceived glamour of classic American burlesque. Most major cities have a burlesque troupe or five. Um, Seattle, Chicago, New York, um, the Carolinas have a couple of really large troops that have been around for a while. New Orleans is, is huge with the burlesque scene. Atlanta. While classic burlesque consisted of women undressing and men telling jokes, today's shows are more varied and have higher production values. When you're doing it on stage in front of a bunch of people with a live band, there's so much that can go wrong, and when you nail it, you, you are telling yourself, wow, I did it, this is great. For the burlesque performers, it's also about self-confidence when they go on stage and do their show. I think that burlesque, when it's seen, it, it's so clear. It, it's a sense of female empowerment. It's a sense, you're literally revealing yourself to an audience and they're cheering and screaming every bit of the way. And in the end, burlesque is about having fun.